We're going to get the fuck over this or what? I just want to say one thing. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Hey, fuck you, hey, man. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. Hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> Fuck you, boy. You're a fucking asshole. Let me just say this one more time. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, buddy. Welcome back to the podcast, guys. We have a very special guest with us today, the one and only Nate Page. And it's a fucking pleasure to have you on the show, bro. It's been a while. It's a pleasure to be here. You've You've been actually probably... Probably the most requested, yeah, um, for obvious reasons. Yeah. <laughs> for reasons. Everyone wants to know. We're stoked that it's... you accepted the big offer to come. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I appreciate you boys really pulling through to get me here. Um, you know, like you know, I wouldn't have done it if it, if it was any any different. You know, the, the private jet was comfortable all the way. Yeah. Oh, it was good. It was good. And, the, and you know the, the service was great, um, and, I, and I love I love what you guys did for me. So thank you. Thank you. See, we're not bad blokes after yeah, all. Yeah, the continental yeah. breakfast yeah, the continental, cooked by you guys apparently as well. There was nothing in it. I swear. Yeah. So basically. I'm sorry, but I am a tiny bit hungover, so I'm not on form tonight. This today. jackass um, <laughs> decided to get absolutely blind drunk last night at a Snapchat retreat. Yeah, it was yeah. It's like a school camp or something, wouldn't it? It literally felt like a yeah. school camp. And I woke like, like up. Band camp. It was literally, yeah, <laughs> this one time at band camp. Which stays on band camp. Yeah, and I woke up. What happened to band camp? 5 a.m. this morning on the floor of the shower and the shower was running and I have no idea how long I was in there for. So <laughs> Gotta save the water, man. It was a while I mean, because my hands were all shriveled up, you know, yeah, like yeah. when you're in the pool for ages. All wrinkly, whole body wrinkly. <laughs> and the old fella. Yeah. <laughs> you can't afford for up. that thing to shrivel up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you're not working Lost much. <laughs> you couldn't find it for the first 30 minutes. Um, well, let's get into it. I've, we've written down a few questions um, that the people at home have asked Nate. Yeah. And there's a few good ones in there um, that I think everyone wants to know. First things first, how did you get on Love Island? All right. Um, for and what were you doing before you went on as well? Cool. Yeah. Well, b- just b- before Love Island, you know, I was just living life, working. I was living with my friends uh, out of home. So, like, we were kind of just, like, living free, just kind of doing whatever. Yeah. You know, Love Island's not something that I ever watched. Nothing that me and my friends have ever gotten into. <laughs> like, I've never had a sit-down chat about Love Island in my life. But they had messaged me on Instagram. And I remember the first time I saw the message, I was in the gym and I was with my friend. I was like, yo, look, they messaged me. And he was like, oh, that's kind of weird. And honestly, I did nothing with it. I just could sort of just seen the message being yeah. like, oh, it's just an automated message. They're sending it out to everyone. Um, like, love Island Australia sent love you a message. Australia. Yeah, Love oh, Island wow. Australia sent me a message <laughs> like, hey, like we've seen your profile. We'd love for you to sign up. That's wild. And, and yeah, and then I just didn't do anything with it. Two weeks later, they sent me another message saying like hey like just double checking like if you're interested we'd love to see you like potentially going through this process with us so you didn't reply at all originally. i didn't reply to the first one left him on red left him on i red. know what that feels like <laughs> <laughs> but then the second one i was like all right all right maybe, maybe let's let's see this little sign up process and they sent through the form that obviously we'd all have to fill out with the video and yeah. some questions and I remember I was a busy day. I was like, oh, this seems like a lot. Like, I don't want to fucking film a video. Can't be fucked with it. it. Can't be fucked. <laughs> so I, I said like, yeah, I sent it through. Once I sent it through, I seen them again. And then it was like three whole weeks later, they sent a message saying like, hey, like interviews are actually over, but we'd love to get you on a call. Can we please call you like today or something? And then I, at that point I was like, oh shit, this is legit. This is full on. That's so, wild. They, they were hunting you. They, they, yeah, I've, I found it so surprising. And anyways, they ended up, you know, calling me later that day, hyping it up. Like, you know, you get to go to Spain, hot girl, Free holiday. Free holiday. <laughs> you get paid for it. And I was like, hold they on. I got with a two bunch of bags. questions. Yeah. yeah they didn't, so they didn't tell me about you guys. <laughs> so if they told me about you guys, maybe it would have been different. But at that point... They said everyone's nice. You know, you're gonna have the best time. Freaking you know, lies. Yeah. <laughs> Sold you the dream. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I'm like, you motherfuckers lied to me. <laughs> but two <laughs> absolute wankers. As soon as you saved to production when you got out. Because <laughs> we were already we were already both in when you walked in. Yeah. So you should have just walked out as soon as yeah, you saw I should have seen him. Like, oh, you fuck mother- this. I've seen enough. Just pull, pull, pull an abby and just get off the scene. <laughs> what the fuck? You lied to me. <laughs> so leaving the scene. How dare you? But um no. And then honestly, once I once I had that call with them, and then I went in the next day, had that interview, they just like fast tracked my ass like through everything because I was late. Like at that point, I'm pretty sure some people were already like in the show, yeah, like, told that they're gonna be on, yeah. And for me, like I had to like you know fill out all these documents, do all the psych tests within like a couple of weeks, and yeah. Then by that point, like it's like filming for like the first like you know introduction episodes and yeah. stuff like that. So it was really fast paced. Honestly, I had no time to think. That's and then wild. to be honest, another thing. 
that not many people know, they ended up calling me up and saying like, oh, you're going to be an OG, you're going to be on, all this type of stuff. And I was in my room, I was like, oh, like awesome. And then I hung up the phone and then I was like, you know what? I still haven't seen an episode of this show <laughs> at all, at least the Australian one. So I went home with my housemates, sat down, put on the first episode of last season. You would have been like, fuck this. I was like, what the fuck have I got myself Bro, into? the first episode is always the most awkward. It oh, is, I shouldn't yeah. have watched it. I shouldn't Bro, have watched horrible. it. Bro, yeah. horrible. It's horrible. awkward to watch. Yeah. Because it's, it's just like a bunch well, of random people. And it's the first time everyone's been in front of cameras. Well, most people. Exactly. Yeah. Unless you're a veteran like so, exactly. a couple yeah, of people. Like, yeah. like a couple of people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like some, yeah, like some sort of they people. They who shan't she, be yeah, yeah, I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> yeah, guys. Yeah. Definitely. Like, I mean, like, if I had some previous experience, I would have come up with a game plan as well. Yeah. yeah. So, but... um. But yeah, but I ended up actually pulling out after that some big text saying like, please like accept this as like my resignation from the show. It's that bad, right? That, was that I watched bad. the first episode of the last season too and I was like, this is so uncomfortable to watch. No, I can't do it. Like the so, sitting on the day beds yeah. Yeah. and the, the guys like, oh. <laughs> yeah, and, oh. like, and like you're going to laugh at each other when they come in. And yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that. Was yeah. that on the same for us when you guys were on? Were you guys feel like really awkward that first day? Oh, oh bro. I, yeah, I felt comfortable when I come in, but then like, the guys just kept getting better and better. Like when you come, yeah. like, oh fuck. Like, <laughs> I came in first and I was like shaking. Like they were like, all right, you're going in now. And I was, oh, I haven't got a pump on. Yeah. Like, you know, I was like, oh no. And then I walk in and I was shaking uncontrollably. Yeah. Like I was real nervous. And then I sat down and then Ben comes in and then yeah. Trent comes in and Trent's joking with the girls. And I'm like, yeah. damn, funny. like I was like, damn. And then uh, Ollie comes in and then you came in. I was like, the competition is like it's wild. Yeah. I it's was like, like, the, like, this is gonna be hard to compete like, with these yeah. guys. And plus, like, they gave us a beer, and I literally down that within two seconds. It yeah. did not calm the nerves. I'm like, fuck. No, nah, I didn't do anything. I was so. But nervous. when I was sitting at the door, I think um, I won't name her, but yeah, she was like three. Didn't even ask like if I was ready. Yeah. They had no idea because they cover you as you're walking up the grass yeah. and stuff like that. That was yeah. weird. And I just heard everyone laugh. And I'm like, fuck, there's other funny people in here. <laughs> I'm meant Hell to be no. the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> what are those girls laughing at that jackass for? And then they're like, three, two, one. And then literally push open the door for you and you're on your own. Like, you're it's just, that's it. It's really within like that. That's isn't the start. It? It's so uncomfortable. Dude, and, and then, dude, who would have thought, you know, the whole journey that we went through from that first moment. And then walking out, fuck, yeah. a whole lot of shit happened. Literally. A whole lot of <laughs> shit. Especially between us. Which we which, will dig which into. We, soon. Yeah, we'll absolutely get into. Yeah. So so you got scouted yeah. and then you got fast forwarded through the process. Yeah. So you were just doing PT work yeah. before that. Yeah, so I was just doing personal training. Like I freelanced most of my PT like around the area that I live in Sydney. And just, you know, there's a whole lot of like um, like moms and, and, and some, some dads and some boot camps and yeah. stuff. And the funny thing is they, they all knew about the whole process as well. Like, you know, you don't tell anyone. I told all my clients. I told everyone, <laughs> everyone so knew good. where I was going because they helped me like kind of make the decision to go on or not and like get prepared for it and shit. So yeah, I've been doing that. And then honestly, when I came back the first week back, I was a love line as well. Been working ever since. That's you know, so good. Because oh, like, that's what I want to do. Yeah. This is going to help. And me that's a question that I was going to ask you. How, how has work been since you got off the show? Like, has your clientele base boosted mm. or it's like in, in in a way it's boosted but um like a lot of i've gotten a lot of other like benefits from it that's outside of pt like, yeah such as like some modeling some brand deals some sponsorships um, yeah i find that a lot of people that end up messaging me for pt just want to meet just want to <laughs> like, slot in yeah. your they don't want no training they don't want to <laughs> pay me money to train them but it's like yeah train me yeah, train me i'm like you don't want this yeah exactly but yeah. no it's been good and i i've got a lot of like ideas obviously now i have like the leverage to like boost a lot of my business online yeah and and that's helped so you know some people have reached out for like you know food programs meal uh like meal, meal that's programs, so good yeah um training programs a lot of stuff which is good yeah so yeah it's been good. That's good. Yeah. That's really What's good. What's it done for your career, Trent? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on the cranes. <laughs> <laughs> I get punched up on the job site. <laughs> get abused on the way I to work. I get my head flushed down the dunny. <laughs> <laughs> Rotten fr fruit thrown at me down the street. People at the bottom of the crane just throwing yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Waiting for me to climb down. Yeah. I yeah. Yeah. Um, so the next question that we have is, how did you find... Did you watch a show back? Because Sav didn't, which we found so really? interesting. She didn't yeah. watch it at all. watched a couple yeah. episodes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which I found wild because I wanted to know how bad I really looked. Absolutely. Which was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bad episodes <laughs> for you. Um, um, I, watched the, I watched the whole show back up until I left. 
Yeah. I didn't watch the last yeah. two episodes. Did not, that's the same as him. Yeah. This goes like, I was, you know, I was like to we'll, Trent, hey, come on, man, show's on. He's so, like, I don't care, man. So I was, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was upstairs um, in my bedroom and I could just hear this jackass like literally pissing himself laughing each night. And I'm like, oh, must, like, <laughs> must be nice. Must have been something <laughs> I said. Yeah, yeah, but I watched, I watched every episode back. I had to. Yeah. I feel like yeah. I find it so funny that Sav didn't because I feel like I have to see what they put out. Literally. Literally, to you see know? what made it, what didn't. Yeah. And did you feel like you'd sometimes forget what had happened and yeah. you'd watch it back Every and you'd go, like, holy shit. Yeah. Like, why the fuck did I say that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I liked because... watching the Villa exclusives because they yeah. were actually yeah. funny and lighthearted. Oh, yeah. So when I'd watch them, I'd be like, I forgot that happened, but it was funny. You know? <laughs> we I, still got us. I, 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 <laughs> I wish they showed more of that type of funny and stuff. And were you... Um, were you happy with the edit? Well, I think you should be wrapped. Yeah, like I mean, you, yeah. You, like, you, were, you killed it. Yeah, oh, like obviously, like you could see the character that they chose for every single one of us. Yeah. And, you know, I was lucky. I got a good edit. I got, um, like, you know. You gave him no like, choice. I gave, yeah, exactly. <laughs> was, you were the good guy. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was a good guy for a bit. And, yeah. and I won't lie. I, I got to thank you guys. You guys definitely helped. <laughs> <laughs> Make me look like, like a really <laughs> You made all of us. Yeah. You You're welcome, no, you buddy. Guys, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, we walk so you guys could run. <laughs> exactly. So, but oh, no, I was obviously happy with the edit. Yeah. I mean, at some points, I do watch, and I'm like, look, this, this, this makes me seem like you know extra boring, though. Like I'm a nice guy and stuff, but I, just, yeah. I feel like I did some funny shit. Oh, bro, I did some funny yeah, things yeah. with Ben. Maybe you had some good one-liners in the challenges that they cut out as well. Yeah, and yeah. they cut it out, and it's just. Yeah. But like, and then obviously the same thing for you guys. I feel like they just chose a character for everyone. Yeah, and only showed that. Yeah, because you know you guys were you guys were nice at the times. You guys were you guys were joking Gettable. a lot. <laughs> yeah, and they didn't even show half of those really uh, funny well, parts, which I made think, people like you. Yeah, I think our funniest moments didn't go to air, and like same with you, like you had hilarious moments. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Did they show when you and Ben were in no, the wigs? No, See, that they was didn't hilarious. Show that, that was funny. That was. I was so keen for that to come out. Yeah, 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 yeah big boy. <laughs> exactly. And you guys had the workout in the wigs and stuff as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, for the people that don't really know what happened, like Ben and I, who was Abby, came in, brought some wigs. And um, Ben and I got changed into a workout gear, like the tight, you know, the boot. And rocked it, girls rocked it too. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we looked bad. We, we were actually threatening. Hey, I was contemplating you. Yeah. <laughs> Some jealous. of the girls, I could tell, they were, they were threatened by us. <laughs> they were definitely threatened by us. And we went up to the girls like, we're going to steal your mans and stuff like that. <laughs> and you were doing the twirl. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we were doing all that stuff. And then yeah. we went down, did a workout with the boys. And at this point, Aiden... And Ryan only just came in, so they didn't really know any of us. Yeah. Yeah. And we were just, me and Ben woke up to them with like wigs on. Like, hey, big boy, like, what's, what's you into? <laughs> That's was brilliant. Just, yeah, it was good. <laughs> that was hilarious. If they had aired that, like they would see everyone's side. Of, exactly. Yeah, personality. Yeah. But no, they didn't want to do that. You know, they kept everyone in their characters. But And I think Reed got probably done the most dirty with that because he was hilarious mm -hmm. and it just didn't come to air. It's funny you say that. I met someone who's friends with him last night and she's like, it was weird watching the show back because it just it's just not Reed. That's what she said to yeah. me. I was like, yeah. literally, we yeah. know. Yeah. And she's like, but it made me rethink all of you. Because she's like, I obviously thought you were an asshole. And I was like, hey, thanks, man. <laughs> she's you like, were dead but right. <laughs> <laughs> but she's like, but it made me rethink, like, if Reed got edited that yeah. way. If he was on one night after us. When you think about it that way, it's like, you just don't, know, like, how have they done 30 yeah. episodes without showing who he is? It's yeah. crazy to think. Exactly. And the only funny moment for him came with... Um, when he was trying to do the magic tricks while you were asking yeah. she shoot who shall not be named out. <laughs> now, <Nah>, Lucinda. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> Cue the tissues. <laughs> Can we make this a support should, group? You guys, should, you guys should have tissues this year. Yeah. We need a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, so when we went into the villa, did you think, like, so you, you, you've seen you had a good edit. Did you think, like, when you went in, like, did you realise, like, the power of the edit? Were you, like... What was your th feelings about it when you're in there? And did you think like the edits everyone got, did that align with your views on everyone? Um, good question. I think that like, I guess when I went in there, I had no idea about the power of the edit. Like I also had no clue like how much they're going to show. Yeah. And it and it's, they did say it prior, but it's still surprising how much doesn't make air. Mm, so, wild. you know, they can definitely pick and choose. And even when I left, I was like, look, I had some moments where I wasn't the bestest guy. And I can easily be depicted like that, yeah. without a doubt. Mm. Like, like I'm not that great of a, like that great of a guy. Some things I said, some things I did. You're a great guy. Like that. Man. Come on. But, man. but like, um, like, um, and I think that I am surprised that somehow how some other people got edited because you know. But they, 
you can kind of tell like they they choose how they want the public to see each person yeah they want the public to see them as like a bad guy, Dead, right. guy. yeah and i think um each year they kind of follow like they have the same amount of villains they have the same amount of like you know they kind of um yeah. recreate each cast kind yeah of. yeah but like, there's always two dickheads like obviously we made it easy yeah. for him yeah um, <laughs> came and was... it's just like i think each year they kind of do like a similar cast to yeah yeah they, they want to they know what works yeah <laughs> yeah they, they saw dollar signs when we walked in the doors <laughs> man they're like look at these two idiots Once they saw you two link up they're like oh perfect. but how would they <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yes, best friends yes do you think this is a really good question and you can be as honest as yeah. you want, which you are do you think we were as bad as what we came across on on screen? Okay. The thing is, when I was in there, and I, this is honest, when I was watching it back and I was looking at some episodes, seeing you guys like talk when I wasn't around about <laughs> yeah. me, that surprised the fuck out of me. Yeah. Because when I realized that you guys like, like when once that what episode four came yeah. out and I realized, okay, there is a rivalry between us. Yeah. That was a shock to me at that time because I was like, oh, I, I thought we were all friends. Because we were all day, I making we each other toshies. <laughs> but then, dude, at one moment, I'm down, I'm down on the like the grass, and then I'm like, you guys are up there, you're like, yeah, fuck Nate, despising against Nate for like Lucinda, and I'm like, watch, I'm like, what? What do I do? I, I feel really sorry for this is a prime example. I feel sorry for Ben because I think we Ben was like just a great guy to everyone, and we yeah. actually dragged him into the trio, and we're like, you put him on the spot, and you're like. Am I in the wrong, Ben? Yeah. And Ben had no choice. He's but he not going to say He's yeah. too nice. Yeah, well, and then he looked bad and everyone was like giving him hate in the comments like, Ben's not that guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, we're, <laughs> we're them yeah. dickheads, but Ben was actually yeah. like a great guy. Yeah, but but I think that one thing that no one obviously sees and that, you know, that did annoy me a bit was that after each one of those arguments that we had or each one of those moments where, you know, we were talking shit about each other, we always like dapped it up at the end and laughed and we laughed, laughed. and we're like, look, we're in this thing together. Like, you know, there's no actual real beat yeah. Yeah, and stuff, but they just never showed that. So yeah. it always follow on, yeah. you know, they just kept it with the storyline. Yeah. Um, and I think that, I think that's, that's one thing that people just thought that we just like, we walk around the house. It's like staring at each other. Nah. Trying to punch on the whole you. time. Yeah, fuck you the whole time. When in actual facts, like, yes, there was beef and yes, like, at times, I fucking disliked you guys a lot, and you guys are the same. <laughs> Fair <way>. enough. <laughs> and we were, we were we were all the same because I gave yeah. it just back to you guys just as much. I, you know, I'm just just now thinking. I didn't even have this in mind before um, today, but I'm, I just remember. Do you remember when um, the day Chloe came in that yes. morning? Yes. And oh, you yeah. and me we just it didn't make it to air, and didn't I forgot that. about. That's right. But, yeah, I, I was being like an absolute idiot, yeah. and. You like, like, I was like, I was like, shut was up, fucking, and then yeah. you're like, don't tell me to shut yeah. up, and then everyone <laughs> left, and then it was just you and me, like, just having a chat. Yeah, yeah. that was like, because that was that part where, where, um, apparently Abby had told you that I was telling her not to pick you. And yeah, stuff. yeah. And I was like, look, obviously, I'm gonna tell Abby to pick Aiden. Yeah. To save because he was like my <laughs> my guy in there, and stuff. But like Abby's throwing this shit out out yeah. of the loop. But I remember the yeah, that was funny because Chloe just came in. And then I remember, like, I uh, said something, then you said something. Uh, we were both giving it to each other, and you just that went, like, was wait, so... wait, zip. Yeah. I, was, I remember I sat <laughs> I there, I was, like, I was like, I was like, you were literally doing it. You're like, Bro. I haven't had a guy tell me to zip it like this. <laughs> that is so disrespectful. Ages, dude, I don't know. I'm like, if there wasn't, in my head, I was like, if there was no cameras, around, <laughs> yeah. there was all this shit, man, I'd get be it. It was so pissed, funny. But, and then, yeah, we had that full on go, but again, that doesn't make it. Or yeah, yeah. Like that, that's so. And I only just thought about it. I literally completely forgot about it. <laughs> yeah. But I remember when the episode was coming on, because I obviously walked out of the bedroom and found um, clothes. I'm like, that's yeah. right. I wonder if they're going to show this. Yeah. And they didn't. They didn't. But, Probably lucky for me. <laughs> yeah, probably lucky for both of us. I think we both but then like straight time. afterwards, like we made up, you dap up, yeah. you stand up and you move on. That was it. I think that was the same with pretty much everything, everything yeah. that we did. Yeah. Know? It's the same in the beach huts as well. Like you go into the beach hut and then you talk your shit and then you leave the beach hut and you're like, I don't even know if I really think that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> and you're so tired that you give them what they want in there. Yeah. Just so you can get in and out. Absolutely. Well, they, they, they swindle you into saying stuff. You know, they, they, yeah. they, they fool lead the conversation they one do. type of way <laughs> and they, they, they weren't leading mine I am just <laughs> yeah, an idiot on top of it. I was just like saying whatever <laughs> came into my head like oh how did you feel about the, this guy coming in what a loser <laughs> yeah. I hate that guy <laughs> clipped but like I might correct myself at the end like yeah he's a loser I hate him nah yeah. he's actually not that bad but I just cut that bit yeah, out cut that out but, <laughs> and I'll tell you the funny thing as well is because this is this also shows like how they chose us as characters because 
I remember some people came in, like for instance, when like um, Aiden and Ryan came in, I was initially pretty threatened by them, but and then at the time, like I wasn't really with anyone. I was with Tia, but I wasn't. Yeah. So I was oh. like, they couldn't have anyone. But then I was, I remember I said to Cameron, like, aren't they a bit old to be on this show? Yeah. Like, and they fucking, and then they're like, they're like, oh no, let's not talk like that. Let's, yeah, yeah. Let's, 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 let's so up. And I was the, like, oh yeah, okay. In the V <laughs> chat, I'm like, I think they, yeah, I think they belong in a retirement home, not Love Island. Yeah. And then I got in trouble for that too. Yeah. Did that? I don't think that made it there. Nah, I didn't. I didn't say anything about the yeah. revenge because yeah. it's just a number, Obviously, boys. Yeah, it's hey. just numbered. Yeah, really rude of you for the um, yeah. old viewers out there, the elder viewers. This is a really good even, question that people want to know. Did you even receive any hate? Yeah. Okay. Um, for the most part, no hate, which wow. was really good. Yeah, must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which which was, I was really in your good. shoes. Yeah, yeah. Even they're size fourteen, aren't exactly. they? Yeah, size 14. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she who shall not be named knows exactly. The size. <laughs> we actually nicknamed him Hammer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but um, uh, the hate that I did get was during the part with Georgia towards the end where I brought up the two to three days a week type thing. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. And once that sort of came out, that's that's when a lot of people started choosing sides between Georgia and I. Yeah. And I think that that whole thing was just taken so out of proportion. We were talking about numbers for like a little bit, but there was a lot more to the conversation. <laughs> and everyone was like, man, this guy's so shallow. What? We're talking about exact days and scheduling her in and stuff like that. And I'm like, look, it wasn't like that. Like you got a whiteboard at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tick off the <laughs> and days and shit off. like that. Literally like that's two days a week. I can't see you for seven days. Like, um, so I copped, a, I copped a good bit of hate for that. Yeah. And then even post the show when George and I had that moment where we broke off. Um, and you know, the pressure was too much. We just wasn't vibing as much. So we just like broke it off. Yeah. That's when people de definitely chose sides. So I was copying some hate. Georgia was copying some hate, which oh, we wow. didn't want. Like people were saying like, oh, Nate was only on the show to promote his PT business and stuff. Yeah. And then Georgia was too, too young, too immature for Nate. And it's just like, Pete, and then it just makes Sorry me Sorry if I started that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did say a few things like that. A lot of things. Which I have a bone pick. Don't talk about my girl like that. Keep his wife's name out of your mouth. Keep his name out of your mouth. Yeah. 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 Anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like, and and it just shows because like these people do, obviously don't know us, don't know anything from about what we've done from bar soap. Yeah, they saw us on a TV show that was one hour from a twenty-four hour day, yeah. and then they're already making some forty-eight hours sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From seriously, yeah, from two days. Yeah, and and then I think it'd be the same for you guys. You know, they don't obviously don't know you guys to the full extent. Yeah, um, and it, you know, it made me feel a bit more of like how you guys were feeling, and it's, and as much as you can be like, like these guys don't know shit about me. Yeah, it still hits. Like it still hits hard. It does. Like, reading that type of stuff, it still can make you feel pretty shit. Yeah. The ones that affected me the most, I found, were the ones like messaging Lucinda saying he's a piece of shit. Yeah. Those are the ones that annoyed me. Yeah. Like, I didn't care about what they were saying to me, but it's like, oh, like, you know, oh, it's my precious girl. I wanted to be safe from everything. Yeah. And there's these nasty messages she's getting all the time about me. About your partner. You know and about mean? her as well. Like, people just say the most horrible stuff. And when you've got that many followers, it's like but the amount the of people that have an opinion on you, it's crazy. It's wild. And like, I would never think to go home and sit behind an iPhone or whatever you got and literally write hate to someone. Like, yeah. 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 You, you just say it. it. You yeah. can have hate. You just you say, it. Can say it. You can say it out loud. Say it about people's backs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Behind their backs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or in front of them. Yeah. You guys are good at that. You guys yeah. are good at that. We are good, man. It's actually really bad. <laughs> we say what we think a little bit too much. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's like you have this fleeting feeling of like, that guy's really pissed me off. So you just yeah. say, oh, that guy sucks. I hate him. Yeah. And then five minutes later, they say something that makes you feel good. And it's like, I actually love that guy. Yeah. That's what That's literally the way you're thinking. That's how we operate. Yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not that bad. But yeah, how, how, have you, how did you guys go with it all? Because I guess, you know, post the show, like we haven't spoken too, too much about yeah. a lot of the hate, but like I see the hate online and <laughs> like too, people, yeah? people <laughs> comment on my own posts as well about you guys yeah. consistently. I, sometimes and I ours. just delete it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it was, um, on our TikToks, it's like, um, if there's a TikTok of Zach and I that we post, it's like Team Nate. It gets like a thousand likes. Yeah. I'm just like, I'll leave that there. That's fair enough. <laughs> w Nate. <laughs> but the funny thing is, like, um, no one knows this. Like, this is the first time we mentioned it. But Zach and like, you obviously have a Finsta, which is a fake Insta. Yeah. Um, like everyone's got them because as much as people say, the only bit of advice, like veterans of Love Island or whatever, the only bit of advice is to stay off social media yeah. while yeah. it's airing. Obviously, you can't help yourself. You no. want to know what people are thinking about mm -hmm. you. And we had a couple of finsters and we were actually literally writing our own hate. Yeah. Like, I swear <laughs> to really? God. And we were getting, ours, ours were the most liked comments. We're like, 
like this um like this comment if you think Zach and Trent are little immature schoolboys. <laughs> and we're like team Nate like, <laughs> every night and they were getting thousands of likes and we're like we're literally It was so funny. funny. But you saw that some I of them, saw, right? I showed so you. The because account. the thing is, yeah, yeah, because Zach because I even went through it more. Because Zach, Zach told me that he was one of the one of the fake <laughs> suit cows. And I went back through, I remember once you said that, I went back through, and at times, I, I honestly couldn't tell who the fuck this guy's side was on. Because he'd be like, yo, Zach's actually not that bad of a guy this day, and the next day, <laughs> and fuck then, Zach. And, <laughs> and, then, and then, like, then some people caught on to it, the and they're like, Wait, whose side are you on? Yeah. And then like some people were like saying, "Hello, Trent. Hello, Zach." Yeah. Like, Patrick, yeah. But like, I hate them two dickheads. Why? Why would I be them? Yeah. It was hilarious. Exactly. Yeah. It was people like, were actually call, called you guys out of time. Well, they were calling us gaslighters and we were gaslighting him in the comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You were. Did you? So you went through and read the comments on all the posts? It's like, I went through, holy crap, dude! I went. I went through a couple of them. And I was like, dude, so I could just imagine you giggling on the other side. Commenting this thing that you just think is just going to get hella likes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? So good. And we would literally, so we like, would lie, would lie on the couch and watch each episode each night. Yeah. And then as soon as they upload um, each like little reel, yeah. would just be straight on there. It would be pissy. Ourselves. Yeah, but if you're one of the first to comment, you're guaranteed to be one of the top comments. 100%. If it's like, yeah. if it's like what everyone's basically thinking. Well, so if we're just hate like, about Zach and Trent, you're guaranteed to be one yeah, of the most likes. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Literally, it was. Freaking I just feel sorry for the social media um, people that had to delete all their hate messages. They, they would have been it. there for days. Oh, uh, no, oh no, on our actual I accidentally account. wiped all my messages when I got my Probably account Probably a good back. idea, man. Yeah. So I didn't even yeah. see yeah. most of them. Wait, so when you guys got your Instagrams back, you said you deleted it. I accidentally wiped all the messages. Yeah. And then did you keep them? Or I kept did they them. delete some for you? They would have deleted all the hate because it was yeah. only nice messages Oh, in there. okay. Yeah. Nice. So they would have had a really hard time. They, yeah. would have been, they would have been working around the clock. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Extra hours yeah. after the day. But insane. There were some nice messages, just not many. <laughs> it's not, 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 not about you. I didn't see any of them, but yeah. it's been lovely ever since. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird how that happens. You come out and then everyone's yeah. like, oh, yeah, you're yeah. right. So, you realize you're just a normal person. Um, and another question that was, yeah, really asked was, and you don't have to talk about this, um, you and George are obviously together now. Yeah. And how are things going? Yeah, they're going, they're going good. They're going good. Yeah, um, yeah really good. Um, so obviously, like, we had that moment out of the show, like, and you might feel it as well, like the social pressure that you get yeah. from being online. Like we had fan pages, like Nate and Georgia page. People were like, oh, <laughs> that was that I live my <laughs> life based off you guys being together, all this stuff. And yeah. we might have one tick or one part where we disagree and we're like, what the fuck? Like, we're just thinking ahead, like, oh, like, like we're having this argument that we're going online and seeing that people are all like fucking loving mm. us and stuff. Yeah. And like, it just made it hard. And then once we actually announced that we were over with, we met up a couple of times for like some TikToks and they stuff. They were hilarious. Like, yeah, just they to like, so good. just to like, you know, ease the tension, show everyone that we're still friends. During that, we obviously like, look, we have this bond that you actually can't create anywhere else yeah, at exactly. all. And, and it was real. And yeah. it was real, exactly, it was real. And there's this amount of care that you have for each other. Like even, I think just even between us and everyone else on the show, like when you see each other, you kind of yeah. have that connection. You can't explain it to you can't like explain the normal it. folk. Exactly. Yeah. So, so, I mean, yeah, so we're obviously together and to, uh, to answer the age old question, do we see each other two to three times a week? <laughs> I think that in this last week, I've seen it every day. Wow. wow. Hey, my get, man, that's on growth. Get her out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. Put a ring on it. I'm like, fuck. But I'm adding those days up and then so in the next yeah, two weeks. Yeah, for a holiday. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, exactly. What do they call it? Time in Lou. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, yeah, we're obviously together and like it definitely helps being in Sydney. Yeah. yeah. Uh, both in Sydney and we make it work like, um, she obviously lives a bit away from where I live, like about an hour. Yeah. But like, it's fine. Oh, Honestly, it's an hour. Those drives are like a, a lot of time to think. I yeah. enjoy, I, long, love I love it. Yeah. An hour long drive is like the yeah. optimal amount of time to yeah. drive. As long as it's moving. It's yeah. the whole time you're moving. Yeah. You're going 110 on the freeway yeah. for like 30 of those That's minutes. Perfect. That's Which so is good. good. But yeah, we're going really well. Um, and obviously like, uh, like our values and like the stuff that we're interested in line, like she loves her social media and loves like creating content and i'm like well into that as well so yeah we work well together as yeah team. And it's good motivation for each other oh, yeah, exactly. yeah. oh absolutely Pick yeah. each other up. look i actually she's you know, on to it zach and i are in a relationship but zach motivates me a lot like he's just onto it he's so exactly good at content yeah. creation i feel like george is really good at content creation absolutely like, she kills like all yeah. the tiktoks right, she, and 
I'm and you look good in a crop top as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that was hilarious. <laughs> She's getting me to do some crazy. What was that, that one you did from White Chicks? That was so oh, good. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> I easy literally white chocolate. I cackled. <laughs> they, <right> good. <laughs> they are gold. You got to keep them it? up. What's it? White that's, chocolate. That, that, that's, <laughs> like, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's all her ideas as well. I'm just so falling good. through with it. So that's good. And do you guys have any plans? Any holidays? Um, put a ring on it, maybe. Yeah. You know, we, we, we got we got some plans. Like, obviously, she wants to go to Bali this year, and I like I wanted to come to like New Zealand or something. So we're talking about it, but we're definitely just some plans. And yeah. we just came to the Melbourne f- uh, Fashion Festival as well. So like that was nice catching our first flight together and shit. So oh, it's wow, good. Yeah. And um and so like that it's just, it's it's moving in a good direction. So I'm really liking it. So it does show that Love Island does kind of work. Yeah, absolutely, it does work. Like, yeah, you know, if if you, if you can make it work, but I found that it only really worked on the outside more yeah. Like, yeah in there it's tough in there it's different you can't even compare it to nah. like real life i right? remember being in yeah. there and just like thinking i cannot wait to get out yeah like i just want the relationship yeah. to be normal now you just want to meet someone that's it and then be like all right let's do this on the outside now. literally yeah. and i don't want to have to worry about guys coming and trying to steal them and yeah the literally stupid kissing challenges yeah all that type of like stuff. when like you didn't really experience it but when you're with someone you're actually really into them and you yeah. get to see them kiss people it's like this is the worst thing ever yeah. Like when in normal life do you do you ever have to yeah, see yeah, that? Ever, never. Never. If, if the like, girl you like kisses someone, it's like see you later. Yeah. But it's like you kind of both have to kiss other people. It's like yeah. this is so weird. And you get so sick of the kissing. Like oh, as soon oh, as another bomb comes and you're like tonight, there's gonna be another indoor challenge. Bro, what about how they really, cut out? Yeah. Your I can't kiss at the best of times. You all know that. <laughs> <laughs> what about how they cut out your first kiss? Which one? With Ollie. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> They cut that out. That's another thing. Did that was hilarious. Young... That was so <laughs> that was funny. so good. That was so funny. That was gold. Great. So like, for I'm the so upset about that. for yeah. the viewers back home, basically on like the second night when Lucinda came in, I said like, ah, oh, I did. I pretended to be Sophie Monk, and then yeah. I did like I said, all right, we're gonna do paper scissors rock between Nate and Ollie to see who kisses Lucinda. Or no, no, you guys did Paper Scissors Rock with Lucinda. Yeah, Ollie versus Lucinda. And then I was like, if you guys lose, uh, no, if Lucinda loses, you have to, uh, you get to kiss Lucinda. Yeah. But then if you lose, you have to kiss each other. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> you and you guys lost. You, were like, Bro, they you, could, you guys are so excited. Like, yeah, like the, the, re- the risk to reward, you're like, yeah, yeah. the reward's worth it. Like, <laughs> boys, you celebrating when yeah. they lost. Because oh, that, that would have been the best cut because I remember that Scissor Paper Rock game went to like overtime, like... We kept they kept getting the same one. It was yeah, like one right. all, two all, <laughs> and then just like same one, same one, same one, and then we fucking lost it. We're like, so much like, no, <laughs> no, but and then we fucking came through. <laughs> and everyone was just cheering. Yeah, and it was the funniest no, thing. You're yeah. like, I came on Love Island. My first kiss was yeah. a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally. Yeah, literally. Yeah, that I, had was no, I had no kiss with a girl at that point, and like people were coupled up. Like even at that point, I thought you and Tia were in for the long run. By that point, man. Like, sorry, I'm sorry to bring hey, it up, man. Are you serious? Sorry, sorry <laughs> to bring it up. Hey, we both, hey, we're in the same position in the year, but we, yeah. we, 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 we can connect over that. Yeah, over we that. can. Uh, but, um, like, hey, you know, I, this is another thing. Remember, I, I did, I tried to warn you about, oh, no, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk trash about Tia, but yeah. Yeah, no. I did, yeah. Yeah, I tried to warn us. Yeah. It was just in those moments, like, yeah. Yeah, you could tell that it was just, so there's something, something going on a little bit there. That's right, yeah. And But like, hey, Truth we, I think we, little, we bonded a little bit over that one. Exactly. You know, position. Yeah. Fuck, that was funny. <laughs> That's Shit. gold. Right, what, um, else? what do you want to do, Zach? Do you want to get into a bit of... Um, am segment? I the asshole? Let's get into some... Yeah, am I the asshole? We've got this some segment. really good ones. People have um, We get them to submit in. them through our Instagram and that. Yeah. There's actually some hilarious ones. Okay. Like some of them are wild. People, yeah, yeah I've got, I'll pull my phone up as well. Is this like people's own stories? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. They're um, Cool. They're really good. So Fuck yeah. Like, I'm, in the most, I'm in the most slouched position on this couch, but I, I have a seat, but I just don't think there's any other way to kind of <laughs> sit up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, Especially I'm with this mic. I'm going to cruise, man. We're yeah. good. Um, all right. Do you want me to start with one? Yeah, you go with yeah. one. I'll, I'll, I'll pull them up on my phone too. All right. So this one, do you want to go? You ready? You go. All I'm right. Good. So this one says, am I the asshole for wanting to leave my boyfriend? All he does is play Xbox and gives me no time or satisfaction. I've spoken to him about the situation, but he doesn't change. Well, no. No. How are you the no. asshole? No. Yeah. You're not the asshole for, like, you're not getting any... Yeah. It's no pretty getting... self-explanatory, that one. Yeah. 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 Like, you know, if you're in a relationship, you got to give each other, like, a problem out of attention. And especially <laughs> if she's brought it up to him. Yeah. And he All still right. wants to play Xbox. I think this is a pretty good one. I was cheated on by my ex, 
and she did it with the bloke who I hated the most at the time. So I waited till she would like me again, which was two months later. Good on you for sticking it out, man. <laughs> and then got back with her. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> Only to cheat on her a few weeks into the new relationship. <laughs> that is what I call I'm not sure. dedication. <laughs> that, that, that is dedication to the karma trade. Yeah, that fully planned You would out. love that. You would love that. Yeah, yeah, like I'm all about getting back, like getting even, but that's like a whole new level of dedication. That's, arsehole for sure That's yeah Maybe you're both the arsehole To be that's honest That's an arsehole both, like, I, I think Wait did they break up Because she cheated on him Yeah, yeah. And then he just oh, Wanted well, to get her back both, To cheat on her They're both arseholes yeah. Yeah. This is some toxic that's, shit Yeah that's some that's so toxic makes us shit. Look like angels on yeah. the line. Where was that guy In the, in the, in the process yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild I'm, um, I'm all about Don't get mad Get even Yeah But that's just That's stupid. like That's like a Different type of even Yeah, yeah. That's like sending them But hey Hats off to your brother For the dedication You gotta give that to him Absolutely all right, so this one was submitted. So I, I just for the record, I think both those people are assholes. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> both, yeah. yeah, both assholes. Yeah. Am I the asshole because I kicked my ex boyfriend out of my house at four a.m. for having a full blown tantrum, crying and punching the air because he couldn't sleep and kept waking me up, all because he had no weed? Come on, <laughs> if your boyfriend's not had any Mary Jane, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, you know you're, you're kicking him out at four a.m. Where's he gonna go? Where's he? Yeah. <laughs> You know, but why is it weed? Yeah, but it, he shouldn't be keeping her up because he yeah, hasn't exactly. filled his lungs well, with he, the he devil's sh- lettuce. He shouldn't. He shouldn't let himself get to that state where you can't sleep without weed, anyways. Literally. Um, and also, he should also think ahead. You you shouldn't run out on weed. You need to read. <laughs> re- you need yeah. to re-up once you get to the close end of your last batch. <laughs> Sounds like that's coming a- from experience. Yeah, 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 <laughs> definitely, definitely. No, I, I would say, see. I would say in that situation. He is an asshole, yeah. but she's also an asshole. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Maybe that. Both. All of these situations, yeah. people just like Play trying to get, assholes. trying to justify being asshole. Yeah. I think, I think they're all both assholes in all these situations, but one's just a bigger asshole. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, well, then who's the bigger asshole in that situation? Mm. I'm gonna say him. I'm, mm. Yeah, I, I think. Him. But then, what's yeah, he gonna do at four a.m. when she kicks him out? Yeah, I mean, if she can't sleep, I'd kick someone out if they kept waking me up. Yeah, I'd it's pretty up. annoying, especially if you've got work or something the next day oh, yeah. i get so angry when i can't sleep like i lose my mind yeah i've seen it i'll go punch stack up yeah let's go hit him if you can't tell i think this is a good one um all right am i the asshole a job i worked at for five years got really mentally draining for me and the higher management were just toxic af she was full-time mm. she's put that in brackets thanks sweetie <laughs> And I gave three days notice instead of the four week notice in my contract. They proceeded to beg for me back, spamming me all day after I left. So I told them to roster me on for the next roster and the max for the next roster is 38 hours. They did that and I no-showed all the shifts. You're an asshole. Yeah, you're an asshole for sure. You're an Uh, asshole. For sure. It depends how management treated her, though. Yeah, because the mm. hierarchy can be quite hard. Yeah. Because, you know, well, like, you go to jobs the and they, like, work yeah. you like a slave yeah. and they don't have any appreciation. And then, like, oh, yeah, we might lose her. Let's try. But they weren't even be nice to just asking her to cover more shifts. Yeah. I don't know. I, I guess it depends what they did to her. Yeah. Depends how she was treated. We need still, some more context. Yeah, we do need more context. But then again, not showing up to the shifts. That's petty. Like, yeah, that's, that's pretty, it's that's pretty, pretty petty. petty. But insane like, that. But I'm a big believer in sticking it to the man, so mm-hmm. I've got to say not the asshole. If it, wait, 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 listen. If it was like a big corporation, like a chemist warehouse, oh no, or like Woolies or someone, yeah. I'd be like, yeah, sister. Yeah, and that, but yeah. if it's a small business, yeah, asshole. Yeah, yeah. If it actually affects like the like the management's lives like fully. Yeah. So within yeah. reason, not an asshole, but maybe with co- more context, yeah, it could, yeah, could change things. I mean, yeah, let's say not an asshole. All right. There's some wild things in here. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to pull one up now. Makes our life seem pretty boring, actually. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these are like just people. I got a good one. No, I'm not gonna say. Oh well, th- here's actually a question <laughs> from someone. If you had your time in the villa again, is there other girls you wish you had pursued that you didn't? So I suppose this is for all of us. Um, for me, genuinely, I remember when. Lucinda picked Nate. I remember saying to myself, "If she stays with him, I'm going." Because you, Cause, yeah, you weren't interested in anyone else. So that's fair enough. No, I was, but I get like I'm like one girl 
at a time like yeah. i can't yeah. like i just knew there was no way if the girl i had a crush on was with someone else would just crush me mentally watching that every day so I was like, yeah yeah so no i wouldn't I, I wouldn't have pursued any other girls yeah no i i I'd, I'd, I'd say the same honestly i think by the end of the show i either saw saw each girl as like a friend yeah. which i can't get over or as a girl that you know, fuck this. I would never date a girl like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, they're all lovely girls, but there's some traits that were in some of the girls I saw that I was like, I would never even go there. And then the other ones would just be like, all right, we're just friends. We've had some good yeah. times. And I can't really get over that friendship thing most of the time. It's a hard zone to get out of the Especially friend zone. seeing them with another guy, like being yeah. around them. I'm like, nah. Like, no, One of your boys uh, as yeah. well. Exactly. Were you? For me, I want to give like, I want to talk about this because this is, it's made me think. So like with, with Tyra, I think I said on my, um, was it the Exit interview or the Honest Islander review? I think it was the Honest Islander review. You I said, think I said about Tyra. Yeah, you said you and everyone was so things confused. with Tyra. Yeah. No one should have been confused yeah. if it aired. Yeah, because like true. Yeah, before, yeah, yeah. This was before, love you, Kale. Like, I'm not cutting your grass here. Yeah, but yeah. before Kale come back in, um, Tyra was like, why haven't you um, even pulled me for a chat? Like, I had a mad crash on you um, mm. at the start. Wah, wah, wah. And like, well, I had no idea. I thought we were like, honestly, in a friend zone. Otherwise, I would have because like, yeah, Tyra's a yeah. legend. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so it would have been mad not to have. And then obviously, Kale come back in and I was like, almost best mates with, just as like, I was really close with Kale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I would never cut someone's grass, blah, 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 like when I'm that close with them. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, um, yeah, I'm not going to do that, obviously. Yeah. And then I just mentioned it when I left. And I just got ripped apart yeah. because like they didn't air any didn't of that. Air any of it. I remember when I heard about that as well. I was surprised. Yeah. Tyra's Tyra's one. She wouldn't even tell everyone anyone how she was really feeling. Exactly. Mm. I kind, of, like, kind of expected you to know about it. Yeah. yeah. Like we were mind readers. Yeah. Well, I remember that conversation at the table. Yeah. And I was like, "Excuse me, Tyra." Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> I was yeah. like and "What I'm the like, hell?" Hang on. And then I'm like, and she's like, "Why didn't you pull me for a chat?" And then obviously Kale come in, so there was just no point. But. Yeah, I got ripped apart for that. And there actually was reasoning behind it. Exactly. No, there was. I remember I saw that and I saw the hate as well. And I was thinking the same thing. I was <laughs> yeah. Just saying, I just copped it on the chin. I saw the hate and I just smiled, man. <laughs> <laughs> just shows the power of the It was producers. probably you. <laughs> yeah. So, so if you had your time again, you would have probably investigated that a bit further. I would have, but like obviously, obviously Kale she's ended back at, yeah. And obviously Kale. they are like incredible together. So yeah. Yeah. no regret. Yeah. I don't wish yeah. I, I don't wish They're I done. I feel yeah. like what's happened's happened. Like yeah. when I get questions like this, I'm like, yeah. well, what's happened did happen. Exactly. Like, yeah. Literally no regrets. And they've done done a great job. Yeah. So all right, well what are your plans going forward then? Um so like my plan is obviously to, you know, continue with PT. That's where my passion is like training people in the fitness industry. And then at the end of the day, like I'm getting a lot of opportunities for modeling. I'm getting a few opportunities for brand deals and sponsorships. So, you know, I just really want to promote that. At the end of the day, I do have these like thoughts in my head. Like I want to create more content that's, you know, outside of fitness and outside of this like type of lifestyle. Yeah. Stuff. I want to move like more into, because I thought that I was on the, on the show. Like I felt like some of the advice that I had for myself was good. And I feel like I could try to, project to people how i kind of think with my mind and my mentality so <laughs> some mental health advice and some some type of you know thought process advice i think i think that i want yeah. some videos like that but like in a better way to where i'm not like telling people think like this but more like i'm telling people like this is how i think mm. that, that's great i could honestly see you doing that yeah. because like i feel like in the villa everyone came to you for advice yeah and you're you were always like the big, voice of reason. The voice of reason. Yeah, yeah. Every so, time maybe I you should do it. videos on tutorials on how to be a good bloke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is how we could step benefit one. from that. <laughs> step one, don't yell at a girl. <laughs> especially not in a duo. Yeah, especially not in a duo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> take, a couple, Ste- take a couple seconds to think. Yeah. Yeah. Step two, don't be a snake in the grass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but when Most you saw funny. me say that I'm a snake in the grass, were you like... Were you like, oh, yeah. So, he, yeah. when oh, you saw the behind the scenes, scenes. whilst this is booked, I'll, I'll ask a couple of questions to Zach as well. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like when you said you were staking the grass, at, at first I was like, no way did he just say this on <laughs> camera? Yeah. There's one, there's one, there's one there. I, I just didn't know what your, your rationale behind that was. But the 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 other thing as well was um, at, one, at one point you said uh, that you and your friends would do that to each other. And that's where I was just kind of like, 
nah, this is weird now. I'm like, I was, I'm sorry your friends do that, but I do have to ask because I've been wondering, like, do you, do you and your friends actually do that? Or did you just say that in the moment? So a lot of my friends did reach out to me and say, what the hell is wrong with you, man? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I reckon they are snakes in the grass, man. Yeah. Genuinely, yeah. but no, not to that degree, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Like, not to say anything, but like, I think I was just like expecting like, I was like, so obviously now you've seen behind the scenes and I was slagging you off in mm. the beach hut and stuff. That's what I meant by being a snake in the grass. Yeah. You know what I mean, I was like, I'm not, I don't have this guy's back. Exactly. Yeah. You know what exactly. I mean? I know. What but you mean. I suppose like, yeah, I, I, I reckon my friends like wouldn't have my back when I'm not around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> He's out on his own. <laughs> yeah. So fair, honestly. But yeah. Because everyone's like, who the hell does this guy hang out with? Why would he <laughs> say that? I actually, yeah. I stand by that. I'm yeah, fair enough. Right. Yeah, that's what I was like... wondering. That's what I was wondering. I was like, I was like, I was like, man, this guy must have some some different types of friends out there. Yeah. Like, I can imagine yeah. talking shit about my friends behind their back and shit. But I was full I imagine I was full thinking I'm like, nah, there's no way his friends are like that. I'm I bet not his like friends that, are gonna be sitting there watching you me. Real like, life. This mother like sitting next to you being like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> they're not that bad. Not that bad. When I say yeah. snake in the grass, they might say to my mum, Oh, that guy, yeah, your son's so lazy. Yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah. They, they, that's oh, what I can't admit. In fairness, that's all like that. That's just bad. That's the degree I thought my oh, it's one minute snakehood away. was. Oh, it's oh, it. it doing it. All right. Yeah. yeah. All righty, cowards. Thank you so much for tuning in. Nate, it's been a pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Hey, <laughs> great to you. sort out the non-existent beef. Yeah. 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 We yeah. love yeah. you, bro. Yeah. Exactly. And we wish you and Georgia all the best. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, we're just so no. stoked to see you appreciate again. And we that. appreciate it so much that you've come on board. And no. um, we know it probably wasn't an easy watch at home, watching it back. Yeah. Us being douchebags, but yeah, we appreciate it. No, yeah. no. Honest, honestly, guys, like, I, like, I appreciate you guys having me on. And this is something that I saw on the show that you guys could be doing. And I can yeah. see you guys being so successful. And this guy's funny as shit. So I think that this Trend and Zach show can really pop off. And, you know, I'd love to come on again in the future Absolutely. once we get some shit sorted. But you guys, guys, you guys are going to kill this. Just keep doing what you're doing. And fuck, if the haters are going to hate, let them hate because you get a whole lot of like show time and, and, a, and a whole lot of praise for it. So just Any keep it going. is good publicity, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. We no. love you, bro. We Cheers. Love you, bro. All right. Well. Catch you guys next time.